Statins were extremely successful because they prevented a third of heart attacks and nearly a fifth of strokes in big trials like Ascot, where we're the biggest centre in East London, with nearly, nearly 1,200 patients for seven years. Um, and atorvastatin went on to become the biggest selling drug in the world. Now, we don't yet know how big PCSK9 drugs are going to become, but the whole point was that it's all very well to be one of the one-third of people who have your heart attack prevented. That's not great if you're in the two-thirds who still have a heart attack, and especially if you're one of those two-thirds of people who never got very good cholesterol control and statin. How does this new drug work? So the new drug works, um, it, was, it was discovered because it was found that there were a small number of people, about th what, between one and three percent of people, who naturally had very low levels of bad cholesterol. And they also had very little heart disease, and this was a, a natural thing. And so it was natural to look, it was then studied how that was happening. And it turned out that those people had a very efficient way of not only Every time they produced a bad cholesterol particle from the liver, it was taken back by a receptor that's like a, a baseball glove, if you like, taken on the surface of the liver. As soon as the liver made a bad cholesterol particle, it grabbed it, took it inside the liver and recycled it. And the baseball glove came back up to the top of the surface of the liver, ready for the next bad cholesterol particle. And so that recycling, a slightly futile cycle, if you like, is very efficient in those people. The, the trick was to discover what you and I are like, because we don't have very low levels of cholesterol. And unfortunately, what, what happens in us is that we have this receptor. We've got the baseball glove, but the, the bad cholesterol particle, when it comes down onto the receptor, and it can still bind, but there's a protein, PCSK9, and I tell all my patients to remember the metal dog from Doctor Who, which was rather cute, that this... PCSK9 protein sticks on the side of the receptor, the, the, the bad cholesterol still binds and it still goes inside the cell, but it messes up the recycling. So it, the, the, the bad cholesterol particle gets recycled, um, but the, the receptor, the baseball glove, gets ruined inside the cell. So there's nothing to come back to the cell surface. So if you imagine in the Chilterns on a Monday morning, I leave my wheelie bin out with my tins and bottles and stuff and I leave it on the side of the road and when the dust band comes along it takes the it takes the recycling bin sticks it in the truck sticks it in the bin and obviously returns my recycling bin so I can use it for the next week what happens to most of us is if we've got this protein stuck on the side of the recycling bin if you like when the when the dust dust cart comes along it takes the bin but instead of just taking the glass and the bottles and the tin, it takes the whole bang chute and it get, all goes into the recycling bin. So next, next time I've got to buy a whole new bin and the body's no different. It doesn't like producing new bins every time. So the recycling is much less efficient than it is. So the trick with these new drugs is to produce, a, produce something that will get rid of this protein, this piece, and it's a bad, bad to try and kill off metal dogs, but PCSK9 is just a protein, and we don't think it has any good effect. People who don't have any of this stuff live full normal lives. They have kids, they have fun, they do all the normal stuff, but they don't get heart disease. So we've been trying to get rid of this protein that's sitting on the side of the baseball glove and stopping the recycling. So several manufacturers have produced antibody drugs, which are obviously natural proteins that have been specially engineered to hit this protein, when they bind to it, it's as if they're binding to something foreign, and they signal for the immune system to get rid of this thing, and so the immune system engulfs it, like a, with a white cell, gets rid of it. So you suddenly have fresh LDL receptors ready to grab the bad cholesterol, and your recycling becomes much more efficient. So every time the dust cart comes along, you get the recycling being back, ready for next week, and you're doing, every, you're doing the whole thing much more efficiently. Well, statins reduce your cholesterol by quite a lot, by, by one and a half millimoles or so. Um, these drugs are incredibly powerful. Even if we bring your cholesterol down as far as we can with aggressive statin treatment, these drugs will bring the bad cholesterol down by another 60%. So it goes really low. 
Well, it's a multinational trial, and the, the point of FURIA is to take patients who are fairly normal in that they've had heart attacks or strokes or they've got very high-risk diabetes uh, and are at risk of having another heart attack, and they've also got a problem in that they don't get their cholesterol really well controlled with aggressive statins, so they're just waiting for their next nasty thing to happen um, and to give them an injection uh, every two weeks um, of the antibody drug to make the recycling more efficient, bring their LDL down and see whether those on a dummy injection uh, do worse than those on the active injection. We really hope that those on the active injection every two weeks have had a much lower rate of heart attack. The idea being that if you don't have much bad cholesterol, you don't fur up your arteries in the same way. PCSK9 drugs may be very expensive. They involve injectors, biological drugs that have to be stored in the fridge. They're not going to be as cheap as pills. Um, but we don't know uh, when the market develops how that's going to pan out and how the manufacturers and NICE and the others are going to negotiate. Uh, the first question we need to know is how well do they work? And then how much do they prevent? If, if they stop you having another heart attack, which would be fabulous, they may well be worth it because if you don't need more stents, um, but we, we don't yet know how powerful they are. To start with, in the States, the drug and has been marketed for people who have extremely high cholesterols because of an inherited problem with their, their fat metabolism. And these are people who have heart attacks in their 30s and 40s without, without it. So it's a small market. If the Fourier trial and, and others prove that it's effective in far more patients uh, who've had heart attacks and strokes, and it prevents events, then the, the volume would increase and who knows what will happen to the cost. I have no, no idea. I hope the cost could not come down, but we'll, we won't know yet. Well, cholesterol is a big fatty molecule. Um, it's a bit like tar or bitumen that you might want to waterproof your roof with. Uh, it doesn't mix with water, and if you were to try and put it on a flat roof to waterproof it, you, you wouldn't even think of mixing it in water. You'd have to stick it in a metal bucket, heat it up, and then spread it out or use a nasty organic solvent and wait for it to evaporate off, destroy the environment, um, and then you get a decent waterproof membrane on your roof. Now, the body uses it, a bit like bitumen on a roof, to help stabilise all of our cell membranes, which are essentially like a zip um, with uh, two elements stuck together. And the, the fingers are fatty, and they stick together on the inside of the cell membrane. And the body tucks cholesterol, a bit like jam in the middle of a sandwich, to stabilise the cell membrane all over our bodies. Now, that gives you nice waterproof cells, um, makes them nice and stable, but it gives the body a huge transport problem because it's hard to move this stuff around because we have a water-based circulation. You'd have to drink a lot of alcohol to solubilise the alcohol and move it around. So the body resorts to emulsion technology, like emulsion paint or, or milk, and so the, the, the body uses particles that come from the liver, uh, which are part fat and part protein, but these particles are not all the same, uh, and they all have a personality. Uh, the bad ones, unfortunately, are far too much like me. Uh, there's too much fat and not enough protein, and they're quite large, which means they float well. Throw me in the Dead Sea and I float rather well. Um, and like these bad cholesterol particles, hence are low-density lipoprotein. They're light because of all the fat. Now, that happily travels around the circulation. The snag is, if they come along the wall of your blood vessel, they have a terrible tendency, if you imagine this as a blood vessel, they have a terrible tendency to shrink and effectively dump cholesterol on the wall of the artery and helping to fur up your arteries. So that's bad cholesterol. Uh, that's bad news. Now, the, the alter ego of bad cholesterol is like my thin colleagues in the unit who are nice and thin with lots of protein and not much fat in. And these smaller particles, which are denser, they don't float so well, uh, hence HDL, uh, these smaller particles can do the reverse. If we go back to our blood vessel, they're also made by the liver, they can actually go along the blood vessel, swell and effectively hoover up cholesterol from the wall of the artery. So not all cholesterol is the same. What you want is more of the little lively, uh, lively HDL particles, good cholesterol, and less of the big, slow, fatty ones that are light. Um, now, statins work by reducing the production of the big, fatty ones, uh, and uh, they don't do much to the good cholesterol. What the PCSK9 drugs do is they massively improve the recycling of this bad cholesterol particle back into the liver. 
drastically reducing the amount of these big, bad uh, LDL, bad, bad cholesterol particles that you've got sloshing around. And in theory, massively reducing the amount of furring up of your arteries, heart attacks, strokes, peripheral vascular disease. The drug works by reducing the amount of bad cholesterol particles in your circulation. They're the light, uh, fatty ones that don't have much protein in them and which have a habit, if they're going along your blood vessels, have a nasty habit of shrinking and dumping cholesterol on the wall of the artery. What PCSK9 drugs is that they improve the uptake of these particles back into the liver. So the liver not only makes them, and statins reduce the manufacture in the liver, but PCSK9 drugs enable the liver to take these particles back inside the liver, recycle them so they get smashed up and can be, the, the, the cholesterol can be reused. So if you've got PCSK9 drugs on board, a, a protein PCSK9 that's getting in the way on the receptor and messing up the recycling gets taken out and you actually recycle the bad cholesterol much more effectively back into your liver. There's, there's good cholesterol, um, women especially are luckier with having bigger levels of good cholesterol normally. And good cholesterol is a much smaller particle, it has lots of protein and not much fat in it um, and it can do the reverse to bad cholesterol if you imagine a blood vessel. The good cholesterol particle effectively can go along and swell and effectively hoover cholesterol off the back the wall of the artery and take it back to the liver. This process is not as well understood as the bad cholesterol pathway, but that's roughly how it works. And so it's a balance between the bad cholesterol particles and the good ones trying to hoover and reverse cholesterol, transport it back to your liver and get rid of it.